Roy Moore. If I'm being honest, I could have stood to wait a little longer before having to talk about him again. We had to shut down Ask Alabama a few months ago to focus on Roy Moore when allegations popped up that he'd had sexual encounters with a teen, among other things. And after he lost the center race, I figured people would be pretty sick of hearing about Roy Moore. But apparently not. Since Ask Alabama returned, we've gotten a non-stop stream of questions all about Roy Moore. So since people apparently still care about Roy Moore, let's see what's going on with him. Margaret asks, did Judge Roy Moore win his lawsuits against those who accused him of inappropriate sexual behavior? There is no reporting on this. Well, Margaret, the reason you're not seeing any reporting on his lawsuits is because he never filed lawsuits. The only lawsuit Moore ever filed in regard to the whole election was to try and block the election results from being certified, and the judge threw that out. Now, Margaret, I know he repeatedly said he was looking at filing suit against some of his accusers and the media, but he never did. But Moore might see his day in court after all, because one of his accusers, Lee Corfman, has actually filed a defamation suit against him. Thomas asks, why have Roy Moore accusers not been investigated? Well, Thomas, they were investigated. That's why you know who they are. With the exception of Beverly Young Nelson, who came forward through her attorney, these women were vetted and had their stories corroborated by the media before their claims were ever published. As a matter of fact, there were other people who came forward with some shady things to say about Roy Moore, but the stories weren't published because they couldn't be corroborated. I think one lady for Project Veritas even tried to pass off a fake Roy Moore story to the Washington Post and she got busted. If you mean why haven't the police investigated the accusers, it's because it's not a crime to tell people you were sexually abused. And police never went after Roy Moore because all the criminal stuff in the allegations had passed the statute of limitations. Now, Roy Moore could file suit against the women and do his own investigation into them in the discovery process, but as I said, he's declined to do that so far. Anonymous Guy asks, why is Roy Moore allowed to use the title judge when he has been removed twice from the Alabama Supreme Court? Well, this isn't really specific to Judge Moore. It's common for government officials to keep their honorifics, their titles, after they retire. A lot of military members may still get called general or whatever their rank was after they've retired. And you still hear former presidents being called Mr. President. And the same holds for judges. Sometimes people will try to stop you from doing that if you left the office in disgrace. But technically, Roy Moore wasn't removed from the Supreme Court the second time. He was suspended at the end of his term, so he voluntarily chose to step down. So it's not that weird that he gets to keep the title. But also, in common speech, you can just go by whatever you want if people are willing to go along with it. Roy Moore's wife calls him the judge. I've been trying to get people to call me the python. It sounds cool because it's like, you know, he gets a hold of a story and he keeps squeezing and he doesn't let go. But so far the efforts to get it to stick have, yeah. Hey guys, can you refer to me as the python from now on? Is that like a sex thing? They'll come around. And hey, we cleaned a little bit more Roy Moore off the Ask Alabama pile, so this day wasn't a complete waste. I'm Jonathan Sobolewski for Rec, no, no. I'm the Python for Reckon. If you like these videos and like what we do on Reckon, you can help us out by following us at ReckonByAL.com on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.